Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to uh, do a quick video of uh, physics that I've got working so far. We're in the giant sky sphere, that, or space sphere that we've all seen before. And uh, right now I'm just going to show you a few things. Um, first off, the uh, thrust right now full, jumps to 75% thrust on the uh, sublight drives and a little bit of a pulse from the main engines. Um, just looks a little bit nice here. Let's see this here. They're at idle. You can see them kicking a bit. Now, you can uh, steer the ship. It applies the, uh, the torque about the center of mass of the ship. A um, couple things you can do. Obviously, you can apply the opposite force to slow it down, as you just saw. Same with uh, main thrust. Take a bit of forward, forward thrust. You want to slow down a little bit of reverse thrust. I don't have anything that shows reverse thrust. If you hit the X key, it kills all forces. Dead stop. Uh, Obviously, the animations are put through different forces on the drums there. But uh, you have Shift W will lower the nose, Shift S will bring the nose up discreetly. Um, that's using the uh, matrix command math uh, uh, map, map uh, showed for me there. And uh, you can roll the ship on the set axis. Now, some axes appear to uh, have built-in brakes. Once they get below a certain amount of uh, a certain amount, they'll come to a dead stop. And that seems to be relative to the angular factor of physics. But uh, you're turning. Now, the other thing I've noticed is uh, that effect is diminished when there's actual forward motion. So it seems um, the key to physics is actual motion. Angular momentum seems to drop off faster than there is into some sort of other momentum. Now here, I'm just applying the force. The engines are just constantly applying a thousand newtons, roughly a thousand newtons here. And I have the uh, ship estimated only at thousand, oh, sorry, ten thousand newtons uh, per um, due tweening cycle. In the tweening cycle, it applies a thousand newtons every every time uh, the due tweening loop is met. And the ship itself weighs 10,000 uh, kgs, but obviously uh, that's not a, as accurate as it could be. It does give for a good showing. It sort of almost gives it speedboat-like, uh, gives it a speedboat-like feel. Anyhow, just wanted to do a quick, quick video showing. It's very controllable. Very, very controllable. And again, to bring it to a dead stop, you just hit X. Um, obviously, that's not very physics uh, correct, but, uh, but it does allow for some of the other things that I was worried about as far as navigation and other systems. Anyhow, that's the ship moving, and I'm going to wrap this up here and uh, upload this to you because I have to. I have to head out soon, so once I wrap this quick little demo, we can play it now. I do apologize. The textures for the skybox are huge, so some of you guys with older video cards may have problems with those big textures. But uh, it's pretty much the default viewer, so the camera works like the normal viewer. You hit the V key to move around. Uh, the help key brings up the old help, but it's irrelevant here for most of it. Um, you can go to full screen number two. I advise staying out of mode three of your system set up like mine with two video cards. Uh, it seems to have some issues popping in there. But anyhow, um, I'll work on orbiting camera and stuff like that later. But as you can see here, oops. Here, the, uh, the ship is quite, quite fluid. It's pretty much 3D asteroids when it comes to movement here.
you know. Thanks for watching. And uh, back up this is a sample. <laughs>